The Ritchie's bus company has been fined in order to pay $750,000 in reparations to the families of those killed and injured in the 2016 Christmas Eve crash. The bus was carrying 53 people from a Tongan College brass band when it plunged 30 metres down a bank near Gisborne. Richie's had earlier pleaded guilty to a charge laid by WorkSafe of failing to ensure people's health and safety was not put at risk. Our reporter Sarah Robson was at the sentencing in Waitakere District Court this morning. There were 53 people on board the bus when its brakes failed late on Christmas Eve. In court, Judge June Jealous described the moment the driver, Talakai Ahulele, lost control of the vehicle on a tight downhill corner. The bus slid across the centre line onto the Armco railing on the opposite side of the road before rolling over onto its side and sliding on top of the Armco railing for a considerable distance. Mr Aholele and nine passengers fell through the glass windows onto the road at this point. The bus then continued over the Armco railing, sliding on its side down into a steep gully where it finally came to rest. Two people died at the scene, 11-year-old Sione Tamalolo and 33-year-old Talita Fafita. 55-year-old Leotisa Malakai died in hospital eight days later. 27 others were injured in the crash. Judge Jealous said Sione's family was still struggling to come to terms with their loss. His father learned of his son's death on the morning of Christmas Day. The shock was so great for Sione's family that they did not eat for a few days. Coping with the sudden loss of their beloved son and brother has been extremely difficult for the family. Talita Fafita's husband has found it difficult to cope without his wife. They had plans to build a home and have more children together. He has not been able to move forward feeling a loss of energy and frequently feeling emotional. The support from his family, friends and teaching colleagues has been of some assistance to him. Leotisa Malakai was her family's main breadwinner. In addition to the emotional impact, the family has suffered a loss of income that has made it difficult for the family to make ends meet. Leotisa's two children have been adopted by her sister. Judge Jealous said one of the injured, Tavita Lokatui, had his leg amputated. Others suffered fractures and lacerations. Before the crash, Judge Jealous told the court that passengers had smelled burning rubber. The driver, Talakai Ahulele, stopped the bus in Wairoa to see what was wrong, but he didn't ask for help or notify Richie's about the problem. Judge Jealous said Mr Ahulele had been asked by the college group to drive them to Gisborne. An experienced bus driver for Richie's, he arranged to hire a bus from the company. Known as a dry hire, Judge Jealous told the court that at the time Richie's didn't provide rental agreements for these sorts of hires. A compliant rental agreement would have included a telephone number to be called during the period of hire and instructions as to what the hirer should do if the vehicle breaks down and needs repair. Judge Jealous said it was a significant failure. In my view, the lack of a rental agreement and the general circumstances surrounding Mr Aholili's hiring of bus 351 reflect poorly on Richie's transport. They do not demonstrate a company operating, operating best practice at that time. The bus had also missed its 5,000 kilometre service. Hayden Manda from WorkSafe said it was important transport companies like Ritchie's had good processes in place. They do carry a lot of people um, around New Zealand and it's concerning uh, because companies need to make sure that they're looking after the health and safety not only of their own employees but uh, other people that are using their services. Talakai Aholele was sentenced last year to five and a half months home detention and had to pay $36,000 in reparations. Three of Ritchie's directors were in court for the sentencing. In a statement, the company said it accepted the court's decision and said that changes had been made following the crash. Mō te hōtaka o te ahi ahi, ko Sarah Robson, Aho.